All right. Once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Kalkwalash. Double honors be unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. To all the Archeans worldwide, who for the elect 144, honestly, Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the GMSRA.com. Just for your quick edification, she is praised on the most, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. My edification today is entitled Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai is a merciful God. Yeah. Our God is a merciful God. And I just want to bear some piece of some scripture just to back up how merciful Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is to the children of Israel. And just in case you're tuning in for the first time, the children of Israel make up the Negro, Latinos, and Native. You mainly make up the house of Israel. The most high Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is your God. All these other nations have their gods, but the god that the Negroes, Latinos, and Natives serve is Yahweh Bashem Shai, who you people ignorantly call Jesus and Jehovah. Yeah. If you're wondering what ignorant means, today is a good day to learn a new word, so you can look it up. The meaning. So I'll start with Exodus chapter twenty and verse six. So I uh, actually started with five and come down. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I am the Lord thy God, I'm a jealous God. Visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children, upon the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and suing mercies unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So this was some of the laws and statutes that the Mosai Havashim and Shai was given unto Israel. And he was telling them as if you have broken my commandments, that certain um, evils will have come upon you for breaking the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Mosai. But if you keep them, he will show mercy unto you. And he was also saying, I show mercy to thousands and thousands that love me. So it's a good thing to keep the laws and the commandments of the Most High to the best of your ability. Now we know we're living in a kingdom uh, which is ruled by the white man. His biblical name is Esau. We know we live in a kingdom where it's very hard to keep the laws and the commandments 100% because this whole world is defiled. Defiled through the food, through the air, through the laws that this man is creating every day. You know, it's hard to keep up. But through the mercy of the Most High Haba Shemir Shai, you know, still show up that mercy, even though we can't keep it. Um, Exodus chapter 34 and verse 6 to 7. And the Lord Haba Shemir Shai passed by before him and proclaimed, The Lord Haba Shemir Shai, the Lord Haba Shemir Shai power merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, and upon the children's children, upon the third and to the fourth generation. Yeah, the Mosai Yahweh Shem and Shai is gracious. He's merciful, he's long suffering. But he's also a terrible God. Yeah, he's a terror as well. But the main point is our God is a merciful God, a long suffering God. A God is understanding. A God, if you were to just pour out your heart and just ask, I mean, he knows what you want. But most of the time when you're in difficulties, just ask. Just knock. You know? In Psalm chapter 84 and verse 89 and verse um, 14. And it said, Justice and judgment are the inhabitation of thy throne. 
mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Yeah. You hear those words that they bring up? Justice and judgment. And the inhabitation of thy throne. Hey, the most I have a shame I trust. But then you people, or some of you people, don't want to come to the realization or the fact of what justice and being just is. And what having a just balance mean? Having a just balance, especially when you're balancing something between good and evil, you have to be just. So if you people do good, you'll get good reward. Not this, not that, not this disputing that even though you're doing good things, that bad things can happen to you too. But if you do evil things as well, you get an evil reward as well. Yeah, so just bear that in mind. Psalm chapter 144, or Slovakia, Psalm chapter 145, with 8 and 9. The Lord I have, Hashem, is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. Hey, slow to anger. Because the most I have, Hashem and Shai really take on some of you people out there. Yeah, hey, he'll destroy you hey, by thousands one time. That's how we used to do it back in the ancient days. The Lord I have, Hashem and Shai is good to all. And his tender mercies are over all his works. Tender mercies. And we are one of his works too. The tender mercy of the most I have, Hashem and Shai. It's what keep us going every day. It's what give us the ability to care up and praise his name. That tender mercies. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 to 23. It is of the Lord the have our shame and mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion feel not they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Hey, every morning by most I have a shame and shy start to win up mercy with us. Give us a second chance to go over this again. You can't get more mercy than that. <coughs> God, this, this world is not a merciful world at all. This world is just to eat and destroy. But in Yahweh Bashem, we shy. Be sure that we'll get some sort of mercy, some sort of compassion. The greatest and mercy, mercy of the Most High Yahweh Bashem, we shy. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 to 5. But Yahweh, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we deal or even Salakia, when we were dead in sin, had quickened us together with Ma with Mashiach. By grace we are saved. Hey, yeah, by your works you'll, you'll be saved also. But hey, grace through grace because you're sitting every day, through grace you're gonna get saved. Through faith in this. One other spirit and that they are doing works also. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 14 to 16. Said, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that had passed unto the heavens, Yahawashai, the son of power, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not and high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like we are yet without sin as Yahweh Shai came not here in the flesh he understand what we go through because he was once in this body as well hey that's how great Yahweh Shem Yahshai is he understand how it is to be tempted so because of that understanding, that mercy is everlasting, that long suffering, but 
Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. A. The Most High of Hashem is merciful and great. Great is that God, for no other God can stand near Him. Some say stick and stone. Some say gods that they made with their own hands. But we say the Most High of Hashem is God and power. So verb chapter 3 and verse 3 to 4. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bang them around thy neck. Write them upon the table of thy heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of power and man. Hey, mercy, find it. Compassion, but you don't forget that because the most I have, Hashem, Hashem, give us that every day. Hey, give all praise. They say, how about Hashem, Hashem, Hashem? So that I want to say Shalom, I want to give all praise to you, how about Hashem, Hashem, Hashem? Who for the left, 144, worldwide, I want to say Shalom, I'm beyond to you. Stay strong and fast in this truth. You soon go home. Shalom.